Welcome! In this Access Design Tool video tutorial, we will provide a practical example for estimating bandwidth and storage needs for your installation. The estimates depend on the viewing and recording settings used, but also on the scenario captured. The example we will use is a grocery store. Start by creating a Design Tool project. Under Settings, you can assign a project name, decide the number of days the captured video will be stored, and, since different countries have different video standards, select a location. Recording and viewing settings are managed by profiles. The Design Tool has three that are predefined. However, for this example, we will create our own. Our first profile will be for the entrance. Here, we will only be using continuous recording. We want to capture video at 18 frames per second with a resolution of 1080p. Recording will be done during business hours. The second profile is for grocery. We will again be using continuous recording, but with 6 frames per second at a resolution of 720p. Checkout line is the third area to cover. Because many of the settings are the same, we will copy the entrance profile. Fourth is the loading dock. We will use event recording. In this area, we will record during unloading, estimated to be 30% of the day. With the profiles in place, we can now add cameras. For the entrance, we will use an Axis P3346VE. There are five preset scenarios with varying detail and motion. Choose the one that best matches your scene. Click the I button for more information or press the video player button to see a short example clip. Use the entrance profile we created earlier. To cover the grocery area, we will use six Axis P3304s. As you add cameras, the summary box automatically updates with bandwidth and storage usage. Five Axis P3343s will cover the checkout line. A warning symbol appears anytime a selected camera does not fit the profile requirements. Hover over the symbol to receive more information. In our example, the P3343 does not meet our resolution needs. Therefore, we will use the Axis P3346 instead. If we decide to keep the Axis P3343, the design tool will use camera settings that best match the profile. In the loading dock, an Axis P1344E will be used. The Access Design Tool can generate different types of reports. Bandwidth Estimate Bill of Materials and the Hardware Recommendation for Access Camera Station. You can export your project in two different ways. Choose to save the file locally, or copy-paste to include it in any document. In order to view the project, the recipient must import it using the design tool. 
Results gained from the Access Design Tool are estimates. Actual bandwidth and storage requirements will vary. Be sure to allow for some margin when designing your system. Thank you for watching.